Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. I'm out here today doing an old time uh, meat storage technique. Uh, one that I don't see a lot of people talk about anymore. I haven't really seen any videos on it, but I wanted to uh, share this with you guys so you guys knew about it. You guys could do some research on it for yourself. And what that is, is that's storing meat in a crock um, covered in lard. Uh, once that meat is cooked and it's covered in lard, it seals out the oxygen and it will allow that meat to keep for uh, several months. They would typically do this in the fall when they would butcher. They would typically do it with the animal that they had uh, butchered. They would render the lard from that animal and they would cook like pork chops, pork steak, um, they would uh, cook sausage and they would pack that in a clean sterilized crock and they would cover the whole thing with a uh, hot lard to seal it up. Then they would keep it in a, a cellar or a, a smokehouse then for the winter. And I'm going to take a few minutes here to show you guys uh, how to do that. I got my lard heating up back here on the fire pit. Like I said, it doesn't require any electricity to do this. You can do this all with just an open fire, but you guys stick around. I'm going to show you how to do this all. The first step in this process is uh, cleaning and sterilizing a uh, crock. Now I have a one gallon crock here that I've cleaned and sterilized. Um, but I've been told that uh, very large crocks were used to do this uh, back on the farm um, years ago. They would uh, use up to 30 gallon crocks to uh, do this to put up enough uh, pork for the, uh, for the entire family for the season. Um, but after you got your uh, crock uh, cleaned and sterilized, the next thing that you have to do is uh, heat up your lard and uh, fry your meat. And uh, like I said before, they would use uh, pork chops, pork steak, sometimes sausage that they would uh, use for this uh, technique. And a lot of this stuff was done uh, outside in large cauldrons. Uh, they would uh, use these large uh, cast iron cauldrons to uh, to scald the hogs, to scrape them, and to uh, cook cook meat and uh, render lard. So uh, even though I got a mini setup here compared to what they had, it's uh, kind of correct in how they went about uh, doing this. And I got some uh, end cut pork chops in there that are uh, cooking for me right now. And uh, when those are cooked, I'm gonna put a ladle of that hot lard in the bottom of that crock, and then I'm going to uh, layer that meat. I'm gonna put a layer of uh, meat, a layer of lard, a layer of meat, and a layer of lard until that crock is about uh, three quarters full. Well, my meat's almost cooked, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a couple ladles full of this hot lard into the bottom of my crock so that can uh, start to set up. And uh, when that lard is uh, set up, then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to uh, start adding our meat into it. And this is what you want your meat to look like. Thoroughly cooked, nice and golden brown, um, so it can go into the crock. I have started layering my uh, meat into my crock now. I have uh, placed a, a layer of the cooked meat on the uh, bottom of the crock. Now I'm gonna take a ladle full of the uh, hot lard and I'm gonna put it over top of it. Be generous with it because you don't want any air pockets in this whatsoever. And we just add uh, more meat down into the crock. Now I'm going to continue this process until it's uh, filled up to the top. I have all of the uh, cooked pork in the crock now and I have it uh, covered. Um, completely with a hot lard. I have at least two to three inches of a lard over top of this meat and uh, the reason for that is is if you want to take a layer of this meat out you have enough lard in there to cover it uh, back up again. This is especially important if you have a uh, large crock of this meat. You want to have uh, plenty of lard in there so you can cover everything back up. Now I'm going to cover this up and I'm going to let this uh, lard solidify and I'm going to show you how they uh, cover this up with uh, wax paper and uh, a crock lid or a plate um, to put this up in the uh, cellar of the smokehouse. I 
I've moved the crock into the house and uh, the lard is starting to set up. I also added the uh, rest of the lard uh, that I used to uh, cook the chops uh, into the crock. There's no sense in letting that go to waste. Now the last step in this process is to cover this lard up with some uh, wax paper. Wax paper is what was uh, used to uh, cover this lard uh, from the first hand accounts that I've been told. And I've cut a couple of discs of uh, wax paper here and I'm just going to press this down in on top of the lard. So when this hardens up, that's just going to make another barrier on top. I'm going to take a little bit more here, force that down in as well. Pull these ends in, and then I'm going to cover this uh, crock up with actually a plate. I don't have a, uh, I don't have a uh, crock lid, so I'm going to use a plate and a weight to uh, keep this closed. And then this is going to go down in uh, the basement, and it's going to uh, stay there until I'm uh, ready for it. Um, just wanted to share this old technique with uh, you guys uh, so you guys know that it's out there if uh, you guys want to do a little research on it for yourself. But anyway, this is Modern Refugee. I appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys are getting a little information, a little entertainment out of my video. You guys have a great day.